they're living jet sarras you guys are not going to believe right now where i am well i'm at the demilitarized zone between north korea and south korea yes i can't believe myself that i'm here well today's video is just about that we are going to be checking out the demilitarized zone the peace area and lots more so join us on this unique adventure i would say I'll explain while you're taking pictures. Uh, Im Jinga Place is like a temporary hometown for those who lost their families during the Korea War. I told you more than 10 millions were separated during the Korea War. Since they have no place to go because their home is in North, government built this facility here because this Paju City, Im Jinga, is one of the northernmost city. So uh, people came here, come here, and miss their family from here. It's close to the north. So this is Im Jinga, temporary hometown for the people who lost their home. And this is actually the railroad so which used to exit road. from so South Korea to North Korea. So that's the capital okay. of North give, Korea. Give her, give her Korea's girl, age about 14 to 17, and make them as a sexual slave for the soldiers soldiers. So before uh, colonized by Japan, all of the Korea men and women have a long hair. Uh, during Korea War, many UN soldier and South Korean soldier was captured, were captured to the North Korea. They were prisoner, but after Korea War, end of the Korea War, they become free and they actually cross this bridge and find them free again. So that's why the name is Freedom Bridge. Freedom Bridge. Freedom Bridge. Freedom Bridge. Freedom Bridge. So everyone, this is the train used to run during the Korean War and before Korean War. During the Korean War, it used to carry the supplies to the war and give it to the South Korean soldier and UN soldier. They carry weapons or foods and give it supply to the soldier. So these are all the bullets and yes, all the bullet marks, the gunfire marks and the yes, bombs wow. attack. Wow, this is surreal. Right next to the border. Oh my God. the first verse this is a song the stone the, the stone it's about a song named lost 30 years lost 30 years so this is the altar altar uh, more than 10 millions of families during separate right separate during the Korean War since they have no place to go they came here uh, in Korea we have two big family occasion two big family event one Lunar New Year and Korean Thanksgiving in these two events, two periods, all of the family gather together and they share their life story, share their food, everything. But since they have home in North Korea, North Korea, they came here, prepare some food, and put the food at the stone table and do the worship to their ancestor who passed away. Who passed away. So there is Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea, just 153 kilometers. So we have got the 10.30 slot to enter the DMZ. We are just right next to the DMZ. Now the entrance can be done only through a reservation and through an official guide. You just cannot come here on your own. Uh, another thing is you have to get your passport here. So we have submitted our passports and then we are going to get the approval to enter into the DMZ. Now the irony is uh, our tourist guide cannot enter on the other side of course because she's South Korean so it's just gonna be us yeah this is something else honey looking forward to it I hope the time goes fast till then I'm gonna explore the peace park around in this area so even as I'm walking around here I want to be absolutely sure that I'm not walking into an area that I'm not supposed to be 
and I don't want to be stuck in North Korea by any chance so yeah gonna gotta be extremely careful when you're here so earlier I showed you about that railroad well these are the railroad tracks yeah wow So the bridge across that side leads to North Korea. There is so much security in this area. Wow. Unbelievable just unbelievable just being here and uh, being able to experience this. I always wanted to do something unique so I'm going to open Google Maps and actually check my location on where we are. So let's go. So that's yeah let's click on our location correctly. Let's zoom out. Wow. So you see everything in this white is South Korea and the green is North Korea. So let's zoom out. Yeah. So now you can see the border, the line there. Yeah. So we're exactly. And there you go guys. We're exactly at the border. Oh, this is the Imjinjak peace area. They actually have an amusement park also here, which is so ironic. Why would you have an amusement park at a demilitarized zone? So we just had the soldiers. We're going board. into the unification bridge, which is civil law. We're on the unification bridge now. Yeah, we're on the unification bridge now. We have made it to the observatory now where you can actually see North Korea. Lots and lots of security here. Yeah. Well, maybe I can be a Korean soldier one day. So guys here we are at the observatory and that's North Korea for you. And let me try to zoom in. Yeah. That's their flag the right there. So that's 212 GP. That's where the North Koreans started building a tunnel to gain entry into South Korea. So we are going to be heading there very shortly. And these are some of the North Korean villages. Close to the river. It's around there. Close to the fence. Fence is a different one. A civilian couple line. But the border is above this right down there. That's a typical North Korean village. See if you can spot any North Koreans. I won't spot any cars or anything because they are very poor people. Coming to the DMZ, uh, this is the Dora Observatory and now we are going to head to the third tunnel. Just came back from the tunnel. Uh, you cannot take your phones or cameras inside out there. Uh, but it's quite a... It's almost, what do you say, uh, 358 meters down. And then imagine climbing all the way back. So let me show you where we went. We made our way through this and right down here so once you get here they, uh, you have to wear helmets because it's much lower so you have to bend your head and you get all the way to the third blockade so this was the tunnel this is the north korean side so then south korea put three blockades to protect themselves so north korea in total built four tunnels they tried to even after the truce so basically when the truce was signed they still violated that and still tried to build tunnels to invade South Korea. So that was the third tunnel. This kind of reminds me of Nepal and I know Nepal has many suspension bridges but this is also a beautiful and it's actually 
Nice, the bridge actually moves, huh? <laughs> so it's a bit scary. And if you're afraid of heights, yeah, this is gonna shake you up a bit. But just look at that greenery, it's so beautiful. So I'm actually on top of the hill where the war used to take place and uh, right behind me is one of the bunkers that was actually used in the Korean War. So let me tell you a brief history about the DMZ and Korea itself. So till 1945, Korea was under the control of Japanese. In 1945, the Jap uh, Japanese surrendered and uh, that was in August 15, 1945. And then it was divided into North and South Korea. In 1950, North Korea started attacking South Korea and tried to invade South Korea. They did that in just three days. They took over Seoul. Uh, South Korea along with its allied forces responded back and took the capital of North Korea in three months. Then the war went on for three years and up around 10 days and then finally they signed a truce and that truce was the demilitarized zone wherein the border of North and South Korea is a demilitarized zone. So that's like a 38 kilometer border which is a demilitarized zone. So this truce which was set up in 1953 exists till date in the hope of reconciliation between North and South Korea. I really hope that uh, happens one day. That's another bunker there. So the Korean War lasted basically three years and around 10 days until the truce was signed. But of course, uh, even after the truce, uh, there have been violations of the truce by North Korea and that's why they try to build tunnels in the hope of invading South Korea one day.